everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this two stitch grande scarf. I'm not gonna even unfold it. It is literally 10 feet long. It is so bulky and heavy and I love it so much. And you can see all the photos of it on my website, yarnutopia.com. But I'm using grande yarn in this project and two stitches, hence the name, two stitch grande scarf. Um, this is Red Heart Yarn yarns grande and I'm using for my main color I'm using foggy which is like a gray color and we are also using a little bit of collage yarn which is also um, like a grande uh, type of uh, width it is bulky as well so this is a jumbo size 7 giant yarn and this colorful part on each end of my scarf here is collage which I ran out of yarn so I have the label here is red heart collage yarn and they come in like different colors um, just very blended not even variegated and the color I used in this project is called forget me not and this is also a jumbo size 7. So they're both bulky. You can use all one color, you can change your colors, you can stripe this however many colors you want. It is 15 rows of a scarf and it is a repeat pattern. So very mindless and works up so fast. I love it so much. And since it is a thicker yarn, we are going to be using this giant crochet hook. This is 11 and a half millimeters. It is a pea sized hook. Uh, uh, so that is pretty thick. Um, I use this boy hook. I just got this at the craft store. So you can get a lazy hook, a uh, bigger hook like this. Um, size P16, 11 and a half millimeters. You can use a 10 millimeter hook or even a 12 millimeter hook and they'll still have the same beautiful design as this. And then obviously a scissors to cut your yarn. Um, you can use a yarn needle to sew in your ends, but I just used my crochet hook to weave in my ends because it is so thick and we make tassels at the end as well so it's super fabulous and uh, yeah it's just a really bulky piece of work here so I really like it a lot check out the free crochet pattern on yarnutopia.com if you want to follow in along with the written instructions and I'll have the video tutorial on there as well make sure to check out all the links for all these supplies in the description of this video as well as all my socials you can follow me on Facebook Instagram snapchat Twitter reddit I mean I'm all over <laughs> on the internet so make sure you follow yarn utopia and if you make this or any of my projects hashtag yarn utopia in your pictures so I can see them big thank you to red heart yarns for providing this yarn today and yarn inspirations you can get this yarn at yarninspirations.com and big thank you to my dad who's over my shoulder who's filming this whole tutorial for us and editing it and posting it up on YouTube for us to watch and big thank you to you for watching let's make Make this two stitch grande scarf. All right, to start out, we're gonna use the collage yarn, the colorful yarn, and we're gonna make a slip knot. So put your short end over the top of your long end, then fold this down, and then pull your long end through that loop and pull tight, and there's your slip knot. And then you can insert your hook and we can begin. So I'm going to start out by chaining 200, actually 201. <laughs> And just chain any odd number um, because we want an even number of stitches, okay? So I am going to chain 201, so yarn over and pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two. Now 201 uh, chains, I'm not going to make you watch me, but um, that will get me to uh, the length I want my scarf to be. I want it to be very, very long um, and bulky, but you can choose to go shorter if you want. Just chain any odd number that will be the length of your scarf. All right, once you have your very long chain, the length of your scarf, what we're going to do now is row one. So in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put a half double crochet. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. So this will be our first chain here. And then this chain right here is our second chain. And what I'm going to do is work in the back ridges of my chain, but you can work in any loop of your chain. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my chain toward me and work in this back ridge. I'm going to yarn over, go into that chain, then yarn over and pull it through. 
Okay, so we have three loops on that hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. That's a half double crochet. Now in this next chain right here, we are just going to slip stitch. And our slip stitches for this project are going to be loose. So we're just going to insert our hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then pull it through that loop on your hook as well. Okay, and that is our next stitch. So we're going to alternate these two stitches all the way across. So this next chain right here gets a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, then the next chain right here gets a slip stitch. So we're just going to go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, and we're just going to alternate these two stitches all the way across our chain. It's that simple. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back for row two. Alright, so I'm ending row one with a slip stitch in the last chain here. Okay, so now going on to the next row. Now if you end with a half double crochet, no big deal. Okay, what we're going to do is chain one and turn your work around. Okay, and now we're going to be working in the tops of these stitches here. So if you ended this last row with a half double crochet, then your first stitch for this row will be a slip stitch. If you ended this row like me with a slip stitch, then your first stitch for row two is going to be a half double crochet. So in each of these slip stitch stitches, we are going to put a half double crochet. And each of the half double crochet stitches, we are going to slip stitch. I hope that makes sense. So I ended row one with a slip stitch here. So row two, I turned my work here and I'm going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch right here and make your half double crochet. That was the slip stitch from the previous row. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Half double crochet first. Now this stitch right here was a half double crochet from the previous row, so we're gonna slip stitch into there. So just go into the stitch, okay, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through, okay, not too tight though. So this next stitch right here is a slip stitch from the previous row, so we are going to half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. And we're just going to alternate those two stitches then all the way across. Very simple. So just slip stitch in the next, then half double crochet in the next. Slip stitch in the next, half double crochet in the next. And just continue that all the way across. And then I'll come back for row three. Alright, so I'm ending row two the same way I ended row one with a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work around. And we're basically just going to repeat row two. So on my first stitch, since my last stitch on this row was a slip stitch, I am going to make my first stitch on this row a half double crochet. And then the next stitch from the previous row was a half double crochet. So I'm going to put a slip stitch in there. And we're just alternating these two stitches now all the way across. So just basically repeat row two for as long as you want your scarf, or how wide you want your scarf to be. Um, so I'm just going to do that. But I do want to change color after row three. So once I finish this row, I will come back and I'll show you how to change color and go on to row four. Alright, so I'm ending row three with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to fasten this off. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to cut my yarn because I'm going to change color. If you don't want to change color, just ignore this part. But if you want to change color, I'm just going to cut this yarn and pull it through that chain one there and pull tight. And then I'm going to turn my work around. I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch here. And then I'm going to hook on my new color and I'm going to use this um, Grande yarn by Red Heart Yarns and I'm going to pull that through. So I kind of just folded it in half, hooked that on my hook and pull it through. Okay, then I'm going to take, I'm going to drop the short end there and I'm going to take my working yarn and chain one. Okay, then this first stitch, since my previous row ended with a slip stitch, I turned my work around and we are going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch there where we just attached. OK, 
Okay, and if you want to work over your strands to kind of sew them in as you go, you can do that. Just pull that all the way through just like that. Okay, then the next stitch was a half double crochet from the previous row, so we're just going to slip stitch in there. Okay. And we're just going to alternate then those two stitches all the way across. Now for rows uh, 4, this is row 4 now, so row 4 through 12, I am going to use the gray, this plain gray color. And then I'm going to change back on row 13, rows 13, 14, and 15, I'm going to change back to this collage. So it's going to be 3 rows of collage, 9 rows of gray, and then 3 rows of collage. And that's going to be the scarf. So for me, if you want to obviously make yours bigger, you can make yours wider if you'd like, but 15 rows for me is more than enough and more nice width and the weight of it is really nice. So I'm just going to continue this all the way across and uh, make my width and then changing color is going to be exactly the same way as I just showed you here So I'm going to do nine rows of gray and then change back to the last three rows for this colorful yarn And I'll show you what it all looks like in the end and we'll fasten it off together And then I'll show you different ways you can uh, make this into a cowl or into a scarf all right, when you've made your scarf as wide as you want, you can see I changed color for the last three rows. I'm going to fasten off, so I'm just gonna chain one and then cut this yarn, oh, I already cut it, <laughs> and then pull it through that chain one there and pull tight, okay? And then we're gonna sew in the end. Now, when you um, add new skeins of yarn, you will have to um, sew in your ends, but this is what it should look like. It's super long and fabulous. Um, but what I, t I just took like a regular smaller crochet hook and then I don't have um, a wide enough yarn needle for, my yarn needle is a little too small for this thickness of yarn. So it didn't fit through the eye hole of the yarn needle. So I just used this crochet hook. And what I did was just went through underneath um, some of the stitches Okay, and I did this throughout my scarf when I um, ran out of yarn and needed to change colors and things. So I just hook this strand on and just pull it through and it gets sewn in. Okay, and then I did that a couple of times though. I did it back and forth. Okay, just like that. And then I just cut the strand of the extra and then just stretched it out and it's hidden and you can't even tell. So that's what I did for all my ends when I had to sew them in. And then uh, if you want this to be a cowl, just make sure that it's not twisted and you can sew the two ends together. But what I ended up doing is adding tassels to this end and I'm gonna make it into a scarf. But if you wanted to just put the two ends together and then just sew up this line here and then you can have a full cowl. But I added fringe to this side here. So I'm gonna show you how I made my fancy fringe. So I still have to add it to this side here. So what I did, I just used the gray yarn and I just grabbed a strand of yarn, about, I would say about 12 inches long, and I just, um, I took two of them actually, like this. Okay, so two strands of yarn like this, and then I did five tassels along the edge here. So I just took my crochet hook in the edge, hooked on halfway point here, of the tassel, okay, and then I just hooked on all four of the strands and pulled it through there, and then pull tight, make sure they're long, and there's a tassel, okay? So I have more strands already cut, so I just take them, take them in half, go in the next spot available, where I like it, and then hook it that through, and then hook all four through, and then pull. Okay, just like that. 
So I just did that for all five strands on both sides and then once that's finished I'll come right back. Alright, I just um, am trimming the bottoms of the tassels just to make sure they are all even here and they look good. Awesome. So just make sure you cut straight across here um, so your tassels are even if you are making this into a scarf and uh, make sure you do it to both sides so you have your tassels on both sides. Lovely. And I did five sections um, just like this. And there you have it. That's it. You can just sew in all your ends and the two stitch grande scarf is complete. It is super heavy and bulky and perfect for anybody who lives in a cold climate like I do in Wisconsin. <laughs> so it's super long and super fabulous. And check out the photos on the blog yarnutopia.com and uh, check out the pattern. The free written instructions are on the website as well. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all all those fun things. Hashtag Yarn Utopia in your pictures if you make this and I would love to see them. Happy hooking!